we're going to look at the basics of putting together a Java class. So when using Eclipse, we go ahead and we click on the new, and we then go to class, and it prompts us for a name. Again, with our regular naming conventions, we start with a capital letter. And then use the regular camel case notation, so we have that going throughout the entire thing. Once we have our class put together, the basic structure is as follows. First thing, of course, that we'll have listed inside our code is the package. And the package, of course, is just where we're storing all our information, so we have holding our code together in a nice, neat structure. After a package, we have our import section. And after the import is where we actually um, put our class in. So it's a public, and it's a class, and then the class name. Our matching vertical squiggles go next. First thing inside our class section will be our declaration section. And this is where we declare our class variables. And the class variables are the ones we're going to be using as we have, you know, throughout the entire class. These ones have to be accessed in more than one method, so we can have them available to us. After our uh, class variables, we'll have our constructors. After the constructors, of course, we'll have our getters and setters. And then after the getters and setters, will be the rest of the methods that would belong to the class. And with the methods, you generally want to keep the methods together in groups that make sense. And say, for example, a help method would be next to an actual method that would be calling that method. And we're good to go.